All right, what is up, crew? A uh, question we receive a quite a bit is how do you ride a workout from Training Peaks when you're on Zwift? Uh, so if you're in Training Peaks and you have a pre-built workout up, then all you need to do is make sure you've connected your Training Peaks account with your Zwift account. So to do that, um, up here in the top left, you go to my dot zwift dot com forward slash profile forward slash connections uh, and within that it'll pull up the all the accounts that you can connect uh, into uh, Zwift so training peaks is right here you would click to connect you'd sign into your training peaks account and uh, then they would be connected now once you're there what you do is you go to Zwift like you're gonna do a ride and so here's obviously uh, Zwift. You can select whatever course you want. Um, the beauty of doing a pre-built ride is it's gonna take all of the inclines and declines out of it. So you're gonna get a steady effort as though you're just riding on flat ground. You're not gonna have to worry about hitting a hill when you're trying to recover. Um, so under training, you would then um, find the folder that is going to be Training Peaks Custom Workouts. So the, the key here is there must be a, count, or a, a workout on Training Peaks that it aligns with the day that you are riding on Zwift. So today's February 11th on my Training Peaks account, I have a pre-built workout. Um, it's not just a description. You have to have that workout builder that kind of breaks down what percentages relative to your threshold. There's gotta be that file in there that, that uh, Zwift can pull. Um, and if you have that, and it's the correct day, it will pop up as an option for you to ride. So you can adjust your threshold over here on the right side. One thing I recommend is you do not select erg mode, especially anytime you're gonna be doing a lot of changes in effort. We have found erg mode can cause some problems there. Um, you just end up the tension that stays on the body, on the muscles and, and uh, mostly through the knees uh, we just do not like as coaches, we've seen too many athletes end up with some knee issues um, and aggravations because of using erg mode. So you can select that or deselect it. I recommend deselect. Then all you gotta do is hit workout. And as soon as you hit ride, it's going to pop up. So give it a second. We're going to New York. Sometimes it takes a while to get to New York from Memphis. Um, so what you'll see over here on the left side, it's got every single interval planned out plus five more because there's too many uh, for today's workout that we're going to be doing. Um, a key here, if you're going to be riding with other people or if you're trying to follow along, like in our House of Pain, we have the, the live video element to it. Um, you need to wait to start pedaling until the class begins. Otherwise, your intervals are going to be at a totally separate time. Um, the other thing that I've noticed is the, the lap timing is slightly different than what we get on um, like my, when I'm using it through my Wahoo or just going based on a, a regular timer. Um, you'll see right now, it says this first effort, six minutes and one second when it's not actually six minutes and one second. So uh, over the course of a lot of intervals, you'll start seeing a gap between what you'd be hearing, what a regular timer would be showing you and what the, the auto lapping is happening on Zwift. Um, if you end up wanting to change your workout, you can go to that menu in the bottom left. You can go up to your workouts and you could select any other workout that you wanted. Um, hopefully that helps. Holly, if you got questions on any of this and that is all I got. Peace.